Hello, uh, Munir Ajam. Uh, I will record another video on Agile and project management following the previous video where we shared the story from a movie. Um, in this case, we'll talk about Agile uh, from a different perspective. Uh, first, let's clarify some definition. Uh, the question or the word Agile, and sometimes it's used with a capital word, uh, with a capital A, sorry, Agile. A lot of uh, talks about that in these days, and it's highly hot topics. Some confuse Agile, like to confuse the Pumbak for being a methodology. Agile is not a methodology, it's a concept. It started, obviously, depend the the question of agile the word agile I mean start to become popular some back around 15 years ago was something called the agile manifesto uh, although the concept of agile we can talk about it a little bit later um, and today there are certification uh, pmi have a certification for agile prince 2 have and i think almost every organization and product manager today is launching some kind of an agile certification or another However, as we mentioned, Agile is more of an approach rather than a methodology. And under Agile, there are numerous methodologies, things like uh, we hear, I, I'm not an IT, so I don't know them very well, but we know about Scrum and, uh, uh, and basically things like Kanban and uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, so there are many things that are Agile. Um, so... When we talk about Agile, and I'm going to use with a capital A, that typically refer to this Agile movement. And uh, if we go back to the Agile manifesto as a concept, it basically tells us that it was for software. And the key message from Agile is about delivering a product, software product, and iteration, uh, or in short intervals. So instead of having to wait, you know, six months or a year to have a workable software, maybe we can have an increment, a piece, a feature every two, three weeks or so on. Again, I'm not an expert on the software, so I don't know enough about it. I will refer you to some blog and articles that are written by uh, colleagues called Mark Moore and others on, um, on LinkedIn that they are expert in agile and in software industry and they can talk more intelligently about it than I can when it comes to the software industry. My focus and the series of blogs I'm writing are about the concept of Agile being in most project, for most projects most of the time. Um, we have not seen the final version of the Pumbak 6, but the, what triggers some of these discussions is a lot of hype by people online, they're talking about, oh, the Agile, the Pumbak, new Pumbak, it has Agile in every knowledge area, and oh, Agile is going to be the future, and oh, Agile is for everything. The question is, is Agile, as uh, a capital A, which was designed for software development for most project most of the time? Can I build a road, a highway, a bridge, a hospital, a tower, using Agile with a capital A? These are the questions that we have been challenging the people from what we call Agilists, like evangelists, yeah? You know, these people who are they're trying to lecture us days and nights through social media on Agile is the way to go, Agile is the way to go, everything, waterfall, bad, you know, waterfall fails, uh, the pumbak is waterfall and is garbage. Uh, you know, obviously I'm... Um, Elaborating a little bit here, yeah. So basically, this argument that is that only agile is the right way and everything else is crap. Forgive us, yeah. Show us, explain to us, yeah. Uh, maybe uh, I'm a stubborn man. Maybe a lot of people like me out there. They don't see how agile with a capital A work most project most of the time. So the question here. And then people start talking about, well, no, we're not talking about Agile with a capital A. We're talking about Agile with a small a. Now, what does that mean? Uh, well, that means, you know, of course, uh, the concept of flexibility, adaptability, customer focus, uh, things of that nature. Progressive elaboration. Well, hmm. 
Aren't these concepts part of traditional project management? I mean, in traditional project management, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna, you know, I'm an old man, yeah. So I will use my old man and my white hair. Uh, let's say I'm a stubborn old man, and I want to go back uh, to use tradition. You know, although I'm I'm one of those people who don't like tradition too much. I like what works, and if it needs to be changed, change it. But if it doesn't need to be changed, improve it, yeah, uh, uh, or break it if you have to. Uh, it doesn't matter. The key is that uh, in project management. For those of us, old men, who knows, who have good expertise in project management, it's not something we learn from a Pumba guide or from a, from a passing an exam that I can memorize or I can be, you know, if the passing grade is not even a college degree passing grade. Anyway, let's not go there. Uh, it's basically project management has always been adaptive. One size fits all does not work for project management. Being agile or being scrum or Kanban or lean or waterfall or agile or agile water, whatever name you want to use. Yeah, one size fits all does not work. Therefore, in project management, we must be adaptive. We must have some standard. There are some principles that are fixed and important to follow. And then we have to exercise adaptability or flexibility in order to have the proper project management system or method the methodology uh, for the type of project we are dealing with. Managing a software project is different than a hardware project. Managing an IT project from a service provider perspective is a different from a project owner perspective. Managing a small capital project is different than managing a large capital project. Managing a project in the pharmaceutical industry is different than managing X, Y, Z. Therefore, project management, organization have to build, customize their own methodological approach for the type of project they work on. That's the adaptive nature of project management. It's been there forever as far as I can recall. Yeah. Yes, in capital project, we have to follow a certain sequential process such as a project life cycle that is a phased approach. Yeah, but this is not necessarily waterfall. Yeah, I mean, depending on how you define waterfall academically, it is a sequential process. These phases or stages could overlap or they could be hard. You know, you finish one, you go to the next one. Uh, but in general, or I can mix and match. Yeah. So, Agile, uh, Lean, whatever, if you talk about Agile now with a small a, as a concept, Agility being dynamic, it's a normal business. And these are the practices we've been using forever, before the people who are now claiming Agile for them and then basically stealing all these terminologies we've used and they're claiming now that, ah, this is Agile. So nowadays, customer-centric approach is Agile. Uh, progressive elaboration is Agile. Um, phased approach is agile. I, I, I can go on and on and on. Um, so basically, um, what we are saying, and we'll close this video with, is that look, project management must be customizable and adaptable. Project management approach must be tailored to the type of industry to the type of the company, to the organization culture, to the type of project, to the size and complexity of the project it's used. This is why we have developed a customizable and adaptable methodology for managing project back in 2007. This is why we have been writing about it through our blogs and through ebooks and books for many years. And this is going to be the subject of our upcoming book that is coming, is going to be released sometime this August, we hope. It's called Project Management Beyond Waterfall and Agile. Yeah? We need to have the mindset that one size fits all is not for us. Thank you.